D, wait. I'm all right, Terrence. I promise. I'll talk to you tomorrow. How could you do this to me? Are you fucking kidding me? Do this to you? How could you be so selfish? Friends, if you must know. Come on, man, lighten up. Drink a little. You stop just drinking isn't really his thing. Well, what kind of guy doesn't drink? I have my reasons. Well, it's maybe it's time you let those go, sweet cheeks. She's right. You can't hold on to the bad shit forever. Unless the bad shit keeps happening. Excuse me. <laughs> <sighs> Sorry about that, guys. And it's not your fault she's got a stick shoved so far up her ass. Yeah, what exactly is wrong with him? It's a long story, just know he doesn't have a problem with you guys. Still, you should at least try and have some fun. He used to go out all the time. What happened? Not happened. Hmm. Let me guess. He told you that. Listen, don't let that prima donna get to you. He just needs to get over himself. He'll be fine as soon as we leave. Besides, I won't want to ruin our night. I'll grab some more drinks. You know, you should get someone to take that stick out of your ass before you hurt someone. How about you mind your own business? Don't act like you understand. I know I am. This round of shots is on me. Yes, keep them coming! Mm. Let's go dance. Okay. How about we just go home? You're already wasted. Oh, come on, they just opened up the other room. What's wrong? Can this one dance too much for you? Why don't we just meet you guys in the other room? Yeah, that works. We'll meet you guys in the room. D, you know how I feel about all this. Can we just go, please? Come on, can't you just indulge me this once? Like I haven't already? True, but come on, when's the last time we danced? Probably should have thought about that before you decided to get shit faced. Terrence, wait. Seriously, man, he doesn't deserve you. Come on, hun. Let's dance. Seriously though, thank you for coming out tonight. I miss hanging out with you. I'm just glad at least one of our boyfriends likes me. Oh, we both love you. So, you gonna be okay up there? Believe me, tonight's the easy part. It's tomorrow that I've gotta worry about. Meaning? Well, you didn't hear? The weatherman's predicting the next ice age and I forgot to buy my fur coat. <laughs> Seriously though, if you need me, you call me. You know I always have your back. Thank you. 
I definitely need to do this more often. Oh my god, it's so much fun. You know I love you, right? Love you too. Thanks for saving the night. Oh, just call me your fairy godmother. I'm here to protect you from all the crazy bitches. Especially that one. Well, I definitely should get some sleep tonight. God knows I'm gonna need it. Well, call me after your shift tomorrow. Tell me how it goes. Okay, good night. You too. So you're finally home, although you're probably more wasted than when I left. Why do you have to be this way? Are you seriously asking me that question, Daryl? Knowing what you do? Used to? Huh? Yes, I used to do it. I used to cut. But I think the part you conveniently keep forgetting to mention is that I don't do that anymore. Yeah, you don't do it right now. But that could change any day. Why would you say something like that? I only did it when- When you used to drink, exactly. Do you think I like being the bad guy? Forget it, we've had this argument too many times. Why is that? Because you can't forget? How can I forget it when you keep doing it? It's literally a constant reminder of that day. I know you haven't done it in months, but it's still up here. I haven't done that since right after we started dating. I could have stopped it if you would have just let me. I wasn't ready to let you see that part of me. And I haven't done it since then, and I'll never do it again. I'm glad. But I don't think that you understand how hurtful it is for me to watch you go through that and not be able to stop it. I'm a different person now. You've got to trust me. I'm more confident than I used to be thanks to you. So why don't you stop? Like I said, I can go out and have fun and not want to do that anymore. Did you not understand what I just said? I do. I'm just wondering why we can't meet each other halfway. Because I don't want to meet you halfway. How do you not understand that I can't trust you anymore? Oh, please. What's that supposed to mean? That you could still do it? I've done everything possible to gain your trust back. I pretty much stopped going to bars. I haven't had hardly anything to drink in months. So it's not like I haven't tried. You can choose to forgive me. You can choose to trust me. But as you said, you don't want to. Where are you going? Where does it look like I'm going? I'm getting away from you before you make me say something I might regret. No, say what you have to say, Terrence. I want to know what you're thinking for once. You're a selfish asshole who thinks of nobody but himself. You piss me off so much, sometimes I wonder why I still date you. All the excuses and the holier-than-thou act. I'm sick and tired of it. But I'm done. If you can't respect me or the way that I feel, then I don't see how this is going to work out. Wait. Don't you dare leave without hearing what I have to say. At least I know how you really feel now. I could say a million terrible things to you right now. But you know what? I'm not going to say anything. I want to look back on tonight and I want you to know that I didn't stoop down to your level. That's it. I'm done. Hey, I got a question. If it's what's for breakfast, you're on your own. <laughs> no. Why do you love me? Because you're a kind-hearted person. Despite all the fights? Of course, I mean, we've all got problems. We're only human, right? No relationship is perfect.
the hell? At this hour? What the hell? Terrence, wake up. We need to talk. What do you want? What the hell does this mean? Nothing. I mean... Well, it must mean something if you can't even explain it. What were you doing going through my phone anyway? It was going off like crazy, so I thought somebody was calling you. You had no fucking right to touch my phone. We've never had problems sharing phones before. It didn't mean anything. We were just talking. Talking? About? Fucking around behind your boyfriend's back is nothing? It didn't mean anything. And to be honest, I don't even really remember sending those messages. Right, so Jason was just texting himself. Oh, so now it's my fault. Oh, I don't know. Did he hold a gun to your head and force you? Meet you at your place? Get ready for the best you've ever had? That's what I thought. This never would have happened if you hadn't gone out last night. Right, so nothing new. This is my fault as usual. I hurt you, but when I hurt, there's no remorse. You know what? I'm sorry. Sorry I hurt you so much. You know, the fact that you can't even take responsibility for it shows the kind of person you are. And this is coming from the person who's talking about trusting and forgiving people just last You're night. You're kidding right now, right? This isn't something you can just sweep under the fucking rug. Nothing even happened. You're about to cheat for God's sakes. If I hadn't caught you, you would have had a great time. And how do you know that? How do you know I didn't change my mind? That's not even what this is about. Why am I even talking to you about this right now? Because you love me. Right. Apparently that's the problem. Dee. Wait. You know I love you, right? I wish I could honestly believe that. I was never the person you wanted. I wish I could have been. It is all your fault. Daryl. Oh, thank God you're awake. Where am I? You're in the hospital, you dumbass. What was that for? For almost killing yourself. You know he wasn't worth it. To me, he is. Was. He was the first person I ever loved. And to think I fucked that up, it hurts. You really think you did that? What happened? He didn't feel the same way. <laughs> 